it's me Alexa and welcome back to another reaction here on GW and Co International. I am very excited to take a look at the 777 Charlie song called the Torture Song. Uh, 77 Charlie is of course an upcoming Canada film, reacted to the teaser for that just recently, loved it, looked like it's going to be a really cute film. Um, the film is directed by, uh, written and directed by Karan Raj K and stars Rakshit Shetty. Music is by Nopin Paul. Singer is Vijay Prakash and the lyrics are written by Nargajan Sharma. So, um, <laughs> hello Chimera. Welcome to the chat there. Hello, hello. Um, hope everyone is doing good. I am doing great Chimera. Thank you for asking. I'm excited to jump into this song. We have a couple of reactions tonight, including your suggestion Chimera of the Larger Than Life. I'll be taking a look at that during this stream, so, yep, looking forward to that. Uh, but we are starting with this torture song from 777 Charlie. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into this song. Um, I'm looking forward to it. And, yeah, I won't be able to read chat while it's happening, but it will be on screen, so y'all can see chat. And I will read in on it whenever I pause or whenever it... Um words at the end of the video there we go <laughs> uh, maybe i should just go to sleep now guys <laughs> all right let me let me get in position and let's go ahead and watch this three two one <laughs> i love the little dog at the beginning i had that for the teaser too hey kevin welcome welcome how you doing I peeked at chat quick. <laughs> ice cream, please. I want ice cream. <laughs> I really like this beat. <laughs> I think we know who's getting tortured in this song. He said no pets allowed, so I wonder if he's getting in trouble if anyone hears about the fact that he has a pet. Yes, this is a really catchy beat. <laughs> what a cute dog they have! It's still gross. Stepping on poop is be so unpleasant. I've stepped on a uh, cat throw up before. <laughs> Not good. Not cute. <laughs> Sorry, sir. You devon but it office time I need them at birth. This beat is so catchy. Hey. <laughs> oh my god, it's still just worse. I noticed so many stuff that was destroyed in this time. Okay. I'm gonna pause again really quick. Whoops. I'm now like a second behind. Okay, now they're the same. Okay, this song is so good. Um, what is everyone saying? Oh, you guys are saying the beat is catchy. Agreed. Name a movie. Yep, Charlie777. I want to see it as well. Well, the Indian dog movie. I think it looks very cute. Movie, uh, the trailer, catch me. Such a low-key beat, but catchy. Agreed, Chimera. Very low-key. Uh, the score has dog barks. Yeah, I love that, how they've incorporated the barks into it. Hey, Kevin, how's it going? They it took four years for this film to finalize and then production and post work. Oh, wow. I did not know that. Gonna watch it for sure. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Um, why I paused it here was the destroyed room. Uh, and actually, I watched up till here before um, for a second, but the audio wasn't working on stream, so that's why um, I rewatched some of it. But it was it was fun rewatching because I noticed more things on screen and stuff. Um, but I've not seen anything past this. And uh, what I started saying last time before I realized y'all couldn't hear anything was that um, 
the whenever I first got my dog Jack, who's now 14, but whenever we first got him, he, I think he was five months old whenever we first got him. Um, and he had really bad separation anxiety. So anytime we left him home alone, he would destroy something. And um, it was rough. <laughs> and so we, um, the worst thing he destroyed, I remember, there's two things. One, I had this little, um, it was a stuffed animal dog face, but it was a purse. Um, and I had like actually money in it. It was probably like five bucks, but at the age I was, it was a lot of money. And he like chewed off the corners of all my money. <laughs> And he also destroyed the purse, um, because it's a stuffed animal. And, um, also, though, the worst thing he destroyed was my very first copy of Sorcerer's Stone, which was, like, the one that my parents read to me when I was little, like, before I even knew how to read. Um, he, like, clawed the front and destroyed it and chewed off a bunch of the corners so it was, like, unreadable anymore. Uh, did you put him down for good? No, he's still kicking. Uh, he's... Right now, sleeping in the other room, I'm sure. He's a sweet old man. He's 14. And, um, he's, yeah, he's great. He's very well behaved now. Um, the only issue is now he's so old that occasionally he'll accidentally pee on the floor. He doesn't mean to, but he just cannot hold his bladder anymore because he's, like, a really old man. That's the biggest thing that he has. Um, but he is, um, he's a good boy. Great boy. Um, he just... I've been playing with him all day. I'm currently watching him uh, for the next couple days by myself, and he's just a great dog. I love dogs, which is one of the reasons I'm really excited for this movie as well. And speaking of, let's get back into this song. People on YouTube are going to be like, why are you talking so much in between the video? It's okay. I understand. It's a little annoying, but uh, it's fun. <laughs> all right, 14. Yeah, he's, he's getting real old. Um, I've had him since he was five months old, so I've had him for a long time. But uh, let's get back to this video, I guess, huh? <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, he's trying to get rid of the dog. Tisk, tisk. It's gonna be the dog. Hit him. <laughs> Thank you, girl. She was in the trailer. <laughs> she is cute as a bun. <laughs> Love it. What's that a reflection of? <laughs> <laughs> He's just watching. <laughs> Dogs have no sense of boundaries. Neither do cats, for that matter. <laughs> it's such a cute dog. Oh no. Did this lumpy fall off? Oh, okay. I was like, did it fall off or something? Oh. That is one naughty puppy. Okay. So that'll be big drama there. But no. <laughs> Just told them not to tell anyone. Love this. Oh no! Just crashing. Oh. <laughs> Dog scooting you is one of the best things. Oh god. It was CGI, but I wasn't expecting that. Ugh. Oh no. I 
I realized what was happening right before it happened. <laughs> <laughs> I love this beat still. I think my head ball probably be slightly off to y'all because I think these are still a second. Ugh. Dog fur. Mm. Mm. December 31st! Awesome! I'm looking forward to that. Should be fun. And that worldwide release. Looking forward to it. Alright. Let's go ahead. We switch back to the talking screen. And let's chat. What's happening in chat? All right, we got a uh, puppy. Wow, I love it. Okay, I can see where this movie is coming from. I can say for sure I'm going to like this movie. Same here, Chimera. There are definitely other films like this one um, from various places. Like there's a few Hollywood films I can think of with like similar premises, like the dog films, but uh, yeah. <laughs> movie night with wifey. What is the release date? It's coming out uh, December 31st, if you didn't see. Oh, hey, x Streets, how's it going? It's a song, um, the awesome history about Indian puppy, hashtag Indian doggo. Uh, Holy Perkins, hashtag drug puppy. I love it. Alexa, rats are your friends. Mm. I haven't really had many uh, interactions, like close interactions with rats. I've seen them from a distance, but thankfully, I, you know, eh, I'm good. They kind of freaked me out a little. <laughs> had some friend who, I had a friend who had pets, pet rats. Not for me. Um... Saying hello to everyone. Uh, the doc is putting on the glove to go inside the cow, and the cow is eyeballing the doc. Go back and rewatch. Oh my god. Are they really? Oh my god, I can totally see it. He's eyeing him up. Oh my god, that's amazing. Why most films around the world, they just use labs and not other breeds? Such hypocrisy. Yeah, labs are like the standard dog, I feel like. Like, dog labs. <laughs> Um, it is yellow labs, especially, are, like, used so much in films. Um, I mean, they're cute as a button, don't get me wrong, but yeah. Let's get more diversity in our dogs on screen, guys. Let's do that. <laughs> I can't imagine the complex of making this movie. The song is awesome, great rhythm, barks in the music, good sequence. Yeah, I really enjoyed, um, how they utilized the barks, especially in the beginning of the song, to, like, mix in well together. Uh, that was just really enjoyable, in my opinion. And actually, <laughs> says I totally wasn't asleep. You're fine. It's like late your time, isn't it? It's like 3 a.m. So I you should be asleep, Egg Street. <laughs> Since that, can we appreciate the acting by the dog and know that the dog handler did a great job as well behind the scenes? Yeah, that is one thing. Um, me and Sarah actually talked about it. What movie? We saw Don't Breathe 2. And there's like an attack dog in it that's like trying to attack one of the main characters. And if you watch it, like there's this one moment where it's supposed to be barking viciously, viciously. Like if you look at its eyes, it is such a happy dog. Like it is having the time of its life. Cause the dogs who attack people are like the best behaved ones. It, like in movies, the ones who attack people in movies, rephrase. Um, they're always like the best behaved dogs. Cause you got to make sure that they won't actually like hurt them even on accident, you know? And so it's pretty awesome. I love dogs in movies. Um, I love dogs in general. But, like, if there's a dog in a movie, I'm always rooting for it, um, no matter what. <laughs> like, the movie uh, Crawl. I remember I had a dog, and there's one sequence where, like, they show the dog possibly in danger, and they cut away. And I was like, where's the dog? Is the dog okay? I was, like, freaking out until they showed the dog again. <laughs> like, all I cared about. Character development? Who? Where's the dog? <laughs> but, um... Yeah, these kind of movies are definitely loads of fun. I enjoy watching them a lot. Uh, these, like, dog feel-good movies. It's gonna be, you know, the dog's a torture and they end up falling in love and the dog's gonna help him with something or, you know, something along those lines is gonna happen. You can kind of, 
you know, I'm sure it's not going to be the most uh, surprising movie, but who knows? Maybe they'll throw in some twists that we don't see coming. Um, could happen. But odds are it's probably going to be a little formulaic, but the formula works and I really love these kind of movies, so I'm going to be watching it, hopefully in theaters um, coming out in a year. So um, that'll be a fun, maybe like New Year's movie to go and watch. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Alexa, please give the two can do an Indian dog like this. Uh, Sri actually really does want a dog because um, he never really had one. So he's looking forward to getting one later in life. <laughs> I love how the Canada industry utilizes their local villages and cities to shoot most of their film and not go overboard like Bollywood and shoot shitty film overseas, which doesn't even relate to the film story. Yeah, um, it's definitely really cool. That's also something I can say about a lot of South Indian films, to be honest. I mean, like, uh, Malayalam films comes to mind a lot for that sort of thing as well, where they utilize their beautiful surroundings. Um, but yeah, it's very cool. Definitely, this looks like it's just kind of filmed, like, in a village area. Um... And it looks great. Like, the color grading was nice. It was very simple, like, lifelike looking. Uh, good lighting, good shots. Uh, really great, like, ways of um, cutting it together for the reveals. You know, because, like, we have the dog at the door, and then you cut around to the whole room being destroyed. And, like, you have him finally waking up, and the dog's finally asleep. Like, there's a lot of these great moments of, like, cut and cut, and using that to help emphasize comedy, like the editing, as well as just, like, yeah, the how the film flows. It works really well. Hello, the Hizzy. How are you doing today? Just got back from dog sitting. That's exciting. We just watched a song that had a dog in it. <laughs> and A for Bit in Arms as well. Look at y'all showing up. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Love to have you all here. Um, I feel like this is probably all we really have to say about this torture song from uh, 777 Charlie. I would say this is a great song. Definitely not a torture to listen to or watch. Um, I'm sorry, that was bad. <laughs> there are three massive Newfoundlands you're just dog sitting. Oof, that is a, that is a big ordeal. Newfoundlands are huge. <laughs> but that sounds fun, though. Yeah, a lot of work, I can imagine. Um, sounds like a blast. I love this. We have the dog emojis, people saying woof in chat. I love it. All right, go sleep, x -traits. I will, we'll see you soon. Can we spam hashtag wolf in chat? Yes, everyone spam hashtag wolf. Woof, not wolf. <laughs> Spam hashtag woof and chat while I do the outro for YouTube. Twitch, of course, stick around. We got at least three more reactions coming up. Maybe more. We'll see how tired I am. All right. <laughs> YouTube, thank you for watching. Like, find, and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Uh, hit that. I didn't say that at the beginning of the sentence for some reason. Oh, well. <laughs> Follow us on Twitch to be a part of the live reactions. Um, and on Twitch, again, stick around because we're taking a look at some more stuff. But YouTube... Have an amazing day and stay safe out there. Bye.